So with that, we can really address the big issues we have in this country, reduce the power of private banks and money on government, remove artificial scarcity in the money supply. And you know, I like the idea of uh, if we are a compassionate society, why should we have 50 million people being food insecure and having millions of people living on the street and millions of people on this country living on less than $2 a day, which is the extreme poverty uh, worldwide, right? We should have a national dividend and say everybody gets $1,000, whatever it is. You know, everybody should have the minimum covered, you know, so that we don't have people on the street, people starving, and so on. So that's something that we can definitely talk about. Uh, and we need to reduce government and private debt, which is way too much. So that's what we can do once we fix the system. I would say, what can you do? Learn about money banking. You know, 100 years ago, people, regular people, knew about the issues of banking, uh, of money creation, uh, of minting of gold and sil silver, the big fight over the, uh, you know, 1873 when bimetallism was, uh, was stopped. Even the, the Wizard of Oz is considered, you know, a a parody, an allegory of the monetary debate at the time. We need to overcome our shyness about understanding the money and banking system because it really affects our life in a very deep way. And we need to be able to say to our representatives, you know, we want these things. You know, it's not acceptable for the government to bail out the banks and then give them right back to the same management, you know, to pay incredible bonuses. That in 2007, if we have enough understanding, we would have nationalized the largest banks. Which is, you know, the funny thing, here's, here's the funny thing. The US Treasury injected liquidity into Citibank by buying $25 billion worth of preferred equity shares in Citigroup. Okay? $25 billion together a minority non-voting stake of the company. That day, the whole Citigroup was worth $23 billion on the stock market. You could have bought the whole thing for less and just nationalized it and maybe broken down in pieces or doing what, for example, the, the Swedish government did when they had their financial crisis, but, you know, uh, nationalize the big banks, clean them up, fire the, the, the board and the management, uh, chop them in pieces, and at that point, maybe sell them back into the, the private sector. 